What is up guys? I have not turned on a camera and recorded in a long time. It is uh, currently Black Friday. Black Friday of 2023. We're in 2023, right? So I just went to kind of shopping. I had to drop my brother off at the airport. He's been here for a week. Been sick the whole time. Finally trying to get over this damn sickness, but I uh, dropped him off at the airport. I decided to hit up a couple stores down here, specifically Target. I wanted to see what they had on sale. I found one thing on Black Friday sale, which is I got this Shazam Blu-ray. Uh, this was the sequel Shazam movie. I liked it. I saw it in the theater. I really liked it a lot. And uh, it was $10 for the Blu-ray. So hell freaking yes, I got that. While I was there, I actually found this as well. My first time seeing this in store. Uh, it is a Star Wars three and three quarter inch uh, action figure. And uh, very, very excited to add this one to the collection. I love this character. I love seeing him in Book of Boba Fett. It is Kersantin, or in the comics, Black Kersantin. But hell freaking yes, I got Kersantin. I was really uh, kind of tempted to try and get the, um, there was, I think, a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive version where he's growling. Uh, that one was like $10 more. I think with the Hasbro Pulse sale, it actually came out to being around the same price as this one. Plus you get more weapons, but you know what? I was in the store, I saw it, they had it. I held it in my hand. Hell freaking yes, I decided to go ahead and get it. So I got the Kersantin. And then while I was down here, I decided to stop by Retro Madness in Bedford. Yes, the same Retro Madness that we filmed our movie at, Retro Freaks. Uh, every time I come to this store, it reminds me of when we filmed here. So it makes me very happy, it puts a smile on my face, and I love shopping here. So I got some vintage, I got some modern. Let's start with the vintage. This is a vehicle uh, that I never ever had as a kid. Did I just drop a damn missile? No, I did not. This one looks super damn clean, so I decided to pick it up. It is a G.I. Joe vintage vehicle. It is, here's the driver. You'll know what vehicle it is. There's cross country. I think he came with a wrench. I don't remember what what item he can, he comes with. It was a gun or a accessory, but he didn't have that. Totally fine. I got him and I got the Havoc. So here's the Havoc. Again, I think this came out 86, if I remember correctly, 1986. So I never got this one, but I always wanted this one. I thought it was so cool. But I usually only got vehicles like around birthdays and Christmas. So if it wasn't a birthday or a Christmas of mine, uh, I wasn't getting a damn vehicle. So um, I know that I was not going to buy this one. I know that I was just gonna end with the killer whale and I was not gonna buy any more vehicles, but I saw this, I always wanted it. Why the hell not? I'll find room for it, but it just looks so nice, so clean. Came with cross country, no broken uh, thumbs, no broken crotch piece, just looks great. So I had to pull the trigger on that one. That is not the end of my vintage purchases. I got one more thing. I went in the back, they have a back room. Not really a back room, it's just kind of like a side room. But anyway, uh, they have a lot of baths in a case there. And uh, this one you can actually, um, you could probably find all the figures to build this one at like Ollie's. I don't know, I don't really feel like going to Ollie's and buying the rest of the figures I need. I already have a few parts for this guy. But uh, I finally got him completed. He's gonna go right on the damn shelf ski. Controller. Classic Iron Man villain. He's got his fists, his extra hands. He looks great. I need more villains for my villain shelf. So he's gonna go right on there. Speaking of villains, another Marvel Legends bath here. None other than Mr. Hyde. The Mr. Hyde bath. Looks great. And then we have another villain here, Dr. Octopus Doc Ock. This is the first version. There is a newer version that's from like the animated series with Aunt May. This is the first version. This is the one that I wanted, so looks great. He will go right on the villain shelf. And then the last bath that I picked up is gonna go on my X-Men shelf. I'm very excited for that. He's got a sticker right on his chesticle. It's strong guy, gotta get that sticker off. But I got the strong guy bath. So that's one, two, three, three baths. And then the final pickup from my visit to Retro Madness in Bedford. Again, visit Retro Madness, visit any of their locations, is another G.I. Joe vehicle. I don't remember the name of it, but uh, it is one that my best friend had. I always liked it. It was just a funky looking 
tank slash motorcycle. I don't remember the name of this thing, so it's got a name. I just don't remember it. Uh, but it's awesome and it's smallish and it'll fit on the shelf ski somewhere. There you go, guys. Uh, there's a little haul ski from On Location here in Bedford, Retro Madness. A little bit of vintage, a little bit of modern, and um, there you go. Uh, I will see you back at the Nerd Bar because I have a hell of a haul there. I guess this will be the opening segment of uh, this video. Uh, so when I get back to the Nerd Bar, or back to the house, I have a colossal Big Bad Toy Store uh, unboxing. It is quite possibly the biggest, baddest BBTS uh, shipment I've ever gotten. And then I have more figures that I've picked up over the last few weeks, which I'll show you those as well. So welcome to the video and uh, let's get on with it. Big Bad Toy Store unboxing. It's big and pretty bad. Man, this is ticket talking mother for the figures. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. What's up guys, back at the Nerd Bar, and uh, this is a gigantic haul. So not only do I have two boxes here, there's a box under this one, which goes all the way to the ground. From Big Bad Toy Store, it's definitely the biggest and baddest boxes I've ever gotten from Big Bad Toy Store. But I got a stack here of uh, figures that I picked up in the last like few weeks. So I'm gonna go through those first, and then I'm gonna show you everything that is in these two Big Bad Toy Store boxes. All right, so first things first, I did take advantage of a sale. I think I got these at Target. I think they were running some kind of sale. So I picked up the last remaining figures that I needed from the Dungeons and Dragons set. So I got the uh, Sheila. I got Sheila from d and I already have the Hank, I already have Bobby, Uni. I have uh, Avenger, I have Dungeon Master down on the shelf. Uh, I also got Eric, the Cavalier, Eric. Loved that cartoon as a kid, even though it wasn't on very long. Loved it so much, it was amazing. Diana, the acrobat, got her. And that leaves us with just one more character from Dungeons and Dragons, the cartoon series from the 80s, and that is Presto the Magician. So I got all of them, bam, set completed. I don't think I need anything else. I don't think there's any other, unless they do a War Duke, which I highly, highly doubt. Um, I think he was in one episode, but I'm um, very, very happy that I was, unless they do a Tiamat, seriously doubt that'll happen. But if they did a Tiamat like HasLab, yeah, I'd be in. I would definitely be in for that. So other than that, I think I'm done with Dungeons and Dragons. It'll look nice on the shelf. P.S. Yes, I'm still getting over my cold, my sickness, whatever the frick it was. Uh, the whole family was sick here when my brother was here. Um, so yeah, you could still hear remnants in my nose and or in my speak and or my throat. It's annoying as frick, but I just got to deal with it until it's gone. Star Wars, three and three quarter. Yes, my favorite scale to collect for Star Wars, three and three quarter. It's what I started with. So uh, it's definitely what I'm into because vehicles, because vehicles. And honestly, the figures are getting really, really good as far as articulation wise. They're like basically scaled down six inch figures. So I uh, picked up some uh, more three and three quarter Star Wars starting with Morgan. Good old Morgan. Doesn't come with a damn thing, which she did. It looks like she comes with uh, some soft goods, a little soft goods uh, dress there, but would have been nice if you got a little magic effect or the freaking what was that, a, a knife or a sword that she used in the show? I forgot. She was pretty cool though, I liked her. Pretty badass. Morgan Elsbeth got her. I got, this is gonna be my main three and three quarter inch version of Grand Admiral Thrawn. <clears throat> badass, looks great. I'm sure they're gonna do an Ahsoka series. Uh, Thrawn. I don't know if he's going to look much different than that. I might just be fine with that. And then I got the good old Grand Inquisitor from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hell freaking yes. So there's some three and three quarters to go into my display. I also picked up uh, Chrysanthemum, which you saw in the previous clip, the opening clip to this video. But I also picked up more Hasbro figures. As a matter of fact, I think the rest of the stuff that you see in this little before we get to the Big Bad Toy Store unboxing is all Hasbro stuff, including some more G.I. Joe Classified. All right, got four new G.I. Joe Classified figures. I got Ripper, 
My first Dreadnought, you might see another Dreadnought a little bit later in this video, but there's Ripper. You know, I'm picking and choosing. I'm not picking up like Vipra or some of the other repaints, but some of these are must-haves for me, including this guy right here. Hawk. Hell freaking yes. We got a Hawk. G.I. Joe classified Hawk. Damn, he looks freaking awesome. Shockwave. We got a Shockwave. Very, very cool. And then last but not least, I think this was an exclusive. I uh, might be Walmart exclusive. I don't remember if you know which uh, exclusive this is. I'm pretty sure it's Walmart, but it is a Crimson Alley Viper. I remember getting this in three and three quarter inch version. I think it was Pursuit of Cobra. When I was collecting those, uh, this guy came out and he looked badass. So we got a six inch version of that. And then, last item you see here, before we get to the big bad toy, we haven't even gotten to this yet, haven't even gotten to this yet, is a Marvel Legends figure. And he's gonna go right on the damn Avenger shelf. It is none other than Moon Knight. Got the Moon Knight. But yeah, he looks great. I love that he comes with the alternate head. I'll probably pose him with that alternate head. But let us get to the first of these big bad toy store boxes. Holy frick. All right, so let's just dig right in. First item you see here, uh, believe it or not, I did not have this one in my collection. I thought I did. It's Professor Xavier, modern Professor X. So yeah, just needed a Professor X for my X-Men shelf, so I got him. Here's another Marvel Legends figure, which I did not have, which I definitely wanted for my villain shelf, Carnage. And I love that he comes with that head sculpt from, uh, was it Absolute Carnage? That storyline in the comics. I like the texture on this one versus previous Carnage figures. Most of the previous Carnage figures, it's just sort of like a smooth body and like paint. This one actually has like texture for the, uh, the tendrils and the symbiote. So very, very cool there. These two were actually on sale, part of a very, very huge sale. I'm sure a lot of you took part in the Super 7 sale that Big Bad Toy Store was having. I bought two items as part of that sale. The first is a Silverhawks Wind Hammer. I wish I could show you the box, but it's in the uh, shipper there. Silverhawks Wind Hammer. I always loved the look of the villains in Silverhawks. I thought they looked so damn cool. So, both of the figures that you see here that I picked up from Super 7 are both, indeed, villains. I got Buzzsaw, this is a big box. I already have the Monstar, the big monster, Monstar. So these two are gonna look awesome next to that. I'm planning on getting all of the villains that they made from Silverhawk, so very, very happy to pick those up, especially for a hell of a deal. They ran just a crazy ass sale on um, Super 7 stuff on Big Bad Toy Store. This one right here, um, I thought I had missed out on. I did not pre-order it. It had sold out from a lot of different stores. I think some places might still have it, but um, it had sold out and then they got it back in stock and I, thankfully I caught it when it got back in stock. I saw some reviews of this guy. He looked amazing um, and I'm really happy to pick it up and I know exactly who he's gonna be posed with. It is Morbius, Mezco Morbius. Hell freaking yes. If you watched my last haul video, you know that I got potentially one of the top figures of the year with the veteran William. And uh, this is gonna be posed with veteran William and my uh, man thing, my giant man thing figure by Mondo. I think it's gonna look awesome. I'm really excited to get this one unboxed and in the display. That's the first box. So let's go ahead and open up the second box. All right, box number two. I do not want to put this on my lap because it's a big box. There's some heavy stuff inside. And honestly, I don't want to crush my testicles. Let's get started with some Masters of the Universe. I have uh, recently started liking and collecting the Masters of the Universe New Eternia figures. I really love the fact that you can pose them either with their classic looks or with like new interpretations, like new concept versions of those characters. I love it. So I saw that Big Bad Toy Store had a couple of these in stock that I had not seen in the store yet. And holy frick, they changed the box. Trap jaw, new box design. Holy crap, this looks so damn good. Look at that. Damn. 
freaking amazing. There's the back of the box there. This looks freaking amazing, honestly. Here's another one. Damn. Mattel is killing it on these new Eternia figures. Here's another one. New box style. Bam. Man at arms. Look at that. Good old Duncan. And he comes with the non-mustached face sculpt. He's got the mustache face sculpt too. And I actually uh, picked up one more uh, with the old box design too. I'll show you the difference between old box design and new box design. New box design kicks ass compared to old box design. Old box design has a lot more plastic window, but so I picked up, uh, I never got this one. So I picked this one up because you can swap out the head and just have a badass looking classic Skeletor. It's Skeletor, new attorney is Skeletor. So you see he has the new concept head and like the scimitar looking sword. There's the back. But uh, just to show you differences between new box and old box, there you go. New box, I'm sorry, old box, new box. A lot more artwork on new box. I think that's why I like it more. Yes, it's a smaller window, but damn, look at that artwork. That is gorgeous. I almost don't even want to open this up. That artwork is so badass and it wraps all the way around. Look at that. So yeah, beats the shit out of this one. Pardon my French, but uh, yeah, new box design. They killed it. And then look at that. We have another Joski. Earlier when I got Ripper, I had mentioned, maybe you'll see another Dreadnought. And here is that other Dreadnought Two out of three, if you consider it like the three original, not including uh, Monkey Wrench. Two out of three now. With Buzzer, hell freaking yes. My favorite Dreadnought, my first Dreadnought that I had as a kid. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Six inch Joes. What a time to be alive. It looks like there's only two items left in this box. They're large items, so let me dig them out. First item here is heavy as frick because it uh, has die cast in it. Uh, I am a huge, huge fan of what 3-0 is doing with their Transformers, specifically Transformers from like the Michael Bay movies. Yes, I know a lot of you can't stand the Michael Bay movies. They have a, a little place in my heart. I did enjoy them very much so for what they were. Big, dumb, popcorn eating action movies. 3-0, Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. Yes. Seriously badass looking Megatron and can't see much. I was hoping you could see more, but it just looks like a big pile of metal right there. Kind of like he did in the movie, but uh, I have seen reviews of this thing. He looks absolutely amazing. Uh, but it's the DLX Megatron by 3-0. Pricey, but um, I have the Optimus Prime from Revenge of the Fallen. And now he has someone to fight. So they're gonna look awesome next to each other. I'm really, really excited to have that. And that brings us to the final item in this Big Bad Toy Store unboxing. Final item in this haul. By the way, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Um, feel free to let me know what your favorite item that I got in the comments was. Give a thumbs up if you liked the haul. This is the first item I have bought from this company. The company known as Enter Bay. I have seen these figures many, many times at cons, at Toy Fair. I think at C2E2, I saw them as well. Uh, I was always in awe of them. I thought that they looked amazing. They were always very pricey. But I noticed on Big Bad Toy Store that this one was on deep discount. It was on sale. And it just so happens to be my favorite basketball player, let alone one of my favorite athletes of all time. As my first Enter Bay figure, it's appropriate that I picked up the greatest basketball player of all time. Don't say anything about LeBron, it's Michael Jordan. I got a Michael Jordan Enter Bay figure, one sixth scale, all-star Michael Jordan figure. He also comes with the full Chicago Bulls warm-up suit. That's probably how I'm gonna display him. Holy cow, it smells good. There's a sneak preview. There's his Bulls outfit. There he is, he's got plastic on his head so you can't really see him. But damn, outfit feels really, really cool. Shoes are on point. 
I'm very excited. Look at his base. All-Star Weekend, 1993. Good year, very good year. Another cool detail. Comes with a basketball, it says 1993 on it. If you own any Entrobate figures, let me know how you like them. Let me know if there's one that you might have picked up. I would love to get my hands on a Shaquille O'Neal Orlando Magic Entrobate figure. Probably one of my favorite athletes, again, of all time, Shaq, next to Jordan, so. Um, there you go, guys. I have a lot of figures to open now and get on the shelves. I need to record some more collection videos. I'm back. Thanksgiving's over. I'm getting over my sickness. I'm happy to be back on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn on notifications. You'll get more of me. More videos, more action figures, more toys, more toy hauls, more toy hunts, all that stuff. More live streams. Hell freaking yes. Right now, I'm gonna open up this Michael Jordan and admire it, but as of right now, again, thanks for watching. Have fun collecting. I will see you around the corner, and adios for now.